some of the barriers I faced was not having a job, trying to be on my own. Maybe it wasn't the right time. I just felt down without a job. I had been filling out resumes and turning them in and nothing was happening and I was getting kind of upset. When you out there on the street, there ain't nothing but trouble out there. If you got the job, you ain't got to worry about being out there on the street. A lot of these situations that these youth find themselves in is totally out of their control. So they almost feel like they're stuck in the situation. I had ups and downs with my, like my family and my household. I will be staying and stuff. When he first came to us, he was actually homeless. And being able to know that he can find employment and overcome that barrier of being homeless and hopping from one shelter to another or one motel to another, um, you know, it, it surprises me that he gets up in the morning and goes to school. I, I went on an interview and like, they never had called me back. Uh, I think I, I wasn't like, ready for that interview. But when I got with this program, they told me all the steps to go through. That got me ready for the uh, TJ Maxx interview. Yeah, I think I was ready and that's how I got the job. Yeah, it made me feel good to know that I could uh, go up, get up every morning and go to work and get money so I can help pay the bills. The youth program is a program that's developed to help low-income youth within the Southern Maryland Tri-County region to be employment ready. We offer students in school and students out of school an opportunity to do some development of their resumes, learning job skills, interview skills, so that when they get a job, it's a job that will let them progress into a career rather than just a, an hourly job where they're going to leave and go to the next job. The in-school population are those who are either enrolled in GED or high school, uh, or they are taking classes at the moment of uh, enrolment coming into our program. My youth counselor, she would always, she calls and check up on me, you know, are you okay? I mean, how's things going at the shop and all that. She calls to see if I need a bus pass and all that. So she's really good. I'm happy she even called me again. I was lucky for the, her that, for that to happen. They help you fill out applications and it also tells you like, you know, how many people work in that industry, what the salary makes, and how many job opportunities there is for that placement, whatever you want to be in life. She helped me with the interview and told me, you know, what to say, what not to say. Don't say um a lot. <laughs> I do say that a lot. We take the training that Tri-County has given them and take it to the next step of um, putting it into action. The support that is received from the Tri-County um, side is excellent. They come in at least once a week. They talk to the employer myself as well as they talk to the employee. And if there's any type of questions that the employer has concerning um, things that they can and cannot do with the employee. They're a phone call away to help and support and they, they pay for training if there's additional training. We wear uniforms, they provide the funding for that. The employer pays to you first um, and then you submit for reimbursement to Tri-County and usually it takes about two weeks to get reimbursed for the um, payment that you've um, paid the youth. It's not a whole lot of commitment that's required. The time that I spent working with Tri-County was maybe five hours for the whole summer in total. You run your business and you have this extra hand, a ball of energy that's willing to learn and it's just great. They're willing to help you through many different resources and they're willing to help you build on yourself to get there. I feel much better about myself because I know that I have a network, a community to fall back on. Uh, through the youth program. If you take the time and you are patient, all the people that are in the youth program are actually looking to help you and are taking lots of different um, connections they have and resources and trying to help you. I would really like parents to know that this program is designed to help their youth or their child or you know their son, their daughter, their niece, their nephew to be successful and that includes their education, and it includes employment, it includes finding something that they're interested in and cultivating that. 
I probably wouldn't have as much confidence as I have now. Like I said, I want my own salon and spa. Cause my older brother he ain't graduated, so I will be the first to graduate on my mother. So she's gonna be proud of me for that. It was a great opportunity for me. Without it, I do not know where I'd be, and I'm more than happy that it was available. Because the youth unemployment has risen, it's important that we make an investment in these youth so that in the future they won't need to be on unemployment insurance. We get them a career instead of an hourly wage job. We teach them the skills they need to progress in a career. We make sure they have a high school credential and so they have a job that will last for life rather than something that they're going from one job to the next. Legislators certainly have a lot of uh, control over what happens. They want to make sure they're getting a good bang for their buck. And when you teach a student or you teach them the skills they need as an adult to be in the workforce, you've guaranteed that many, many of them, if not most of them, will not be back again for the services the government has to provide them. They will then be helping to pay for those services rather than using the services of unemployment and food stamps.